Folks, have you recognized or noticed the theme, the rise theme? Have you noticed it's everywhere? This theme, rise, whether it be rise together, the music industry with Katy Perry, new uh, uh, single that just came out called Rise. Now, uh, Hillsong comes out with a movie, uh, Let Hope Rise, and uh, there's just this theme with this word rise in it. What's interesting is that it has nothing to do with Jesus Christ, but we're hearing this word rise. Um, Hillary Clinton is using this in her campaigning. Uh we're just seeing it over and over, whether it be in the religious, the entertainment, the uh, political arena. We're just, it's like everywhere, right? And maybe you don't understand what they're talking about, but uh, there are scores of people today that think this is the Holy Spirit. Uh, where they talk about, you know, with Hillsong and different, um, you know, gatherings that are taking place, one in September, rise, you know, all this whole idea of rising together. Well, I want to read to you from the Scripture uh, what the Bible says about rise. Very interesting. At a time when this theme is being used, this word rise, listen to this. Mark chapter 13, verse 8, Jesus is speaking. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes in divers places, and there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginnings of sorrows. Nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom shall rise against kingdom. My, my. Then we go to Mark chapter 13, verse 12. This is the one that really was stark to me. This is the one that really hit home. I've been dealing with this, with this movie that just came out. Uh, God is not dead too. Mark chapter 13, verse 12. Now the brother shall betray the brother... Again, Jesus is speaking. Now the brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father the son. And children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death. Why would they come out with a movie? The Why would the witches come out with a movie? God is not dead. Two. And in the movie, give a child more authority than their parents. Something is terribly wrong, people, when children have more rights than their parents do. You know what they're trying to, this is a power grab for the children. The state wants to control your children. I tell you, that's what Hillary Clinton's all about. Now, brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father, the son, and the children shall rise up against their parents and shall cause them to be put to death. Oh, that's not the only one. Look at this one. 
Mark chapter 13, verse 22. For false Christs and false prophets shall rise and shall show signs and wonders to seduce, if it were possible, even the elect. Now, I've showed you three scriptures that have this word rise in it. As we watch the world rising together, nation shall rise against nation, Children shall rise up against their parents. False Christs and false prophets shall rise and shall show signs and wonders to seduce, if it were possible, the very elect. Folks, is it any wonder why this word rise is in the theme? Um. Everything, it seems. Uh, It's just worldwide right now. Again, we hear it in in the entertainment. We hear it in the political and even in the religious. The Pope even using this word to rise. Now, what you may not know is that the Kundalini, when they talk about the chakras and they talk about the energy. Uh, It's all about the kundalini or the the serpent energy rising. That's what they call it. It rises within the person, the individual. So, you think about it with me for a moment. We know it's not the Holy Spirit, but there is a spirit that's working, that's bringing the religious, the entertainment, the political. Are you listening? All together. They are rising together in unison, in every spectrum, in every area of society is being affected by this spirit, this theme to rise. Well, we see also that Babylon is rising in the scripture. But we also see there will be a fall of Babylon. Amen? So, yeah, they're rising. They're rising. Amen? But they're also going to fall. Amen. Now, you and I need to be rising. Let's look at some scripture. The believer in Christ should be rising. Listen to what Jesus said in Luke twenty two forty six, And he said unto them, Why sleep ye? Rise and pray, lest you enter into temptation. Rise and pray, lest you enter into into temptation. Remember, Jesus said, as a snare shall it come upon all the world to try them that are upon the earth. But he said, because you've kept the word of my patience, I will also keep you from the hour of temptation. How are you going to be kept from the hour of temptation? Rise and pray. While the world is rising, you and I need to rise and pray. Awaken and pray. That's what the word rise means. It means to awaken. They're awakening that kundalini energy, which is Satan. They're, they're awakening to Satan. They're awakening to, an, to a consciousness of the devil, people. How much more should you and I be awakening to a consciousness, to an to a a relationship, a intimacy with Jesus Christ? We need to wake up, Amen. We need to rise and pray. Hallelujah. Glory to God. We see this word rise all through the Scripture when it comes to Jesus rising from the dead. So the word rise has to do with resurrection, Amen. 
we see this this word uh, rise and even in the new age this word rise is used having to do with the third day they talk about a third day i won't go into that right now but there's a there's a theme there's a there's a word out there in the new age realm about a third day it it's it's uh, convoluted uh, using the scriptures for their own purposes. Now, Jesus says to this man that's uh, in bed, uh, that can't walk, John chapter 5, verse 8, Take Jesus saith unto him, Rise, take up thy bed, and walk. Stop making excuses. Amen. No reason to lay there in that bed if Jesus has healed you. Get up. Stop living off the, trying to live off the government. Amen. Let Jesus heal you. Take up your bed and walk. A lot of folks don't want to be healed because they don't want to lose their support of the government. They don't want to lose their, their, uh, their support, their financial support, so they'd rather stay in an ill condition. But we see over and over this word rise in the scripture. Amen? And uh, we need to be rising while the world is rising. Praise God. So, praise God, people. While the world is rising, while evil is rising, while they're rising together, amen, you and I need to rise and pray. Hallelujah. Glory to God. And one last word we see here. Revelation 13, 1. Listen. And I stood upon the sand of the sea and saw a beast rise up out of the sea. The sea being the people. The beast is rising. Let's rise together is what the theme is. Rise. Let hope rise. You're hearing this all through out our world today, this theme to rise. And the scripture says, John said, I saw a beast rise up out of the people, having seven heads and ten horns, and upon his horns ten crowns, upon his heads the name of blasphemy. So while all these things are taking place, and we're seeing a, a great awakening world, world worldwide right now. And uh, the beast is rising, which they call kundalini. The serpent energy. You and I need to rise and pray. Amen? Rise and pray. God bless you.